Welcome to the brief from Brussels. In this instalment, we're looking into the space race. Not Neil Armstrong and his giant leap for mankind just over 50 years ago, but instead the race for dominance in space and its business prospects for Europe. Space. Endless, fascinating and sucking up a lot of money. It's big business. The growing global space industry is estimated to be worth more than 300 billion euro. Over the decades, Europe has become more of a serious player in what's now a crowded field of competitors. Total annual spending from the EU is at around 8 billion euro, but that's still half as much as the United States. Europe's expenditure is on par with China, three times bigger than Russia and six times bigger than India. Why is Europe's space activity so important? Attending the annual European Space Conference in Brussels is the EU's digital age SAR. Well, because it makes a very good uh, sense uh, on the planet, on ground. Uh, what we have seen is an enormously successful program, on budget, on time, delivering data that is useful in everyday life. Rather than developing moon bases, Mars missions or space weaponry, Europe has focused on consumer-friendly space applications. Those include flagship operations like the Global Navigation Satellite System, Galileo, and the Earth Observation Satellite System, Copernicus. One of the biggest fields that I believe is coming up is the field of space safety. And this is about making sure that we are both protected from threats and hazards that originate in space, but also doing more in space, right? So we talk about space debris. And space debris is about tearing down or bringing down the waste that we have in space. One of the main challenges out there is the waste humans have sent into space, disused satellites and parts of rockets which continue to orbit. But Europe is now a big player and its role could grow. If we join forces, Europe is very well positioned. If we don't join forces, then we have an issue. So if you calculate all what we are doing, not only money-wise, but if you sum up what we are doing in industry, in the European Union, in UMITS, at other European entities and the European Space Agency, then Europe is a very strong space power. But the global space race continues. And on top of all of that, US President Donald Trump has been talking about a space force, a military operation into space. That's it from the brief from Brussels. I've been Jack Parrick for Euronews.